To West Africa now, where the UN is facing its bloodiest peacekeeping mission yet in Mali. More than 60 UN peacekeepers have been killed in the last three years alone. The mission is set for an extension, and the force commander is confident that Mali will stabilize. Here's CCTV's Jen Keo reporting from Bamako. It's the UN's third largest deployment. More than 40 countries, 12,000 peacekeepers. Deployed in 2013 when Mali was threatened with anarchy following a 2012 coup, MINUSMA was seen as an avenue of peace and stability. But three years on, it's become a target. The latest victim, a Chinese peacekeeper, killed in an attack in the northern town of Gao. It was China's first fatality in Mali, but to the UN, a reminder that this is not just any other mission. 18 peacekeepers have been killed in the last two months alone, more than 60 in the last three years. Everybody who wants to create order up north is being attacked, it being the Malian armed forces, it being MINUSMA, but of course also the Bakan forces. So this is uh, generally the, uh, the procedures or the way, the tactics that the terrorists are using. Various armed groups still control parts of the north, some linked to Al-Qaeda, others to the Tuareg separatists. Last year, the UN appeared to score with the signing of a peace agreement between some of the Tuareg rebel groups in the north and the southern-based government. The implementation of the peace process, though, has been slow. With the UN Security Council set to decide whether to extend MINUSMA's mandate, there have been calls for a review of its functions to include combat or the deployment of an intervention brigade like the UN did in the DRC against the M23 rebels. The political process is everything. We cannot solve this eventually with soldiers. We can keep you know, the wheat, wheat a little bit down, we can stabilize and so on, but eventually uh, the solution is a political solution where everybody's included in the government, uh, where we are seeing development coming up also to, to the north. That's the, the, the best solution. Already UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has asked the UN Security Council to add another 2,500 peacekeepers here. Plus, he's called for the formation of a special intervention team within the UN police. What we need the support of, we need the support of the people. We need the support of the compliant armed groups to provide us with intelligence. Now UN commanders here say the wording of their mandate may change, but the basic mission remains much the same, to stabilize this vast country. And for that, they need more troops and better intelligence capability. Jin Keo, CCTV, Bamako, Mali.